Hey guys, what is up? It is Lake here, and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to remote play on your PC for free. Now, there's a lot of tutorials on uh, this same application where you have to pay to use the application. Those were videos made a long time ago, and now there's an alpha edition slash kind of a demo for free, but it still has 720p 60fps, and it has everything you really need. Um, you do need for this edition to have a PS4 controller and a micro USB cable to use the PS4 controller um, with the PC because the free edition of this app will not um, let you map uh, your keyboard and mouse so you won't be able to do that but you will be able to play remote play from anywhere on your PC or laptop so I'm going to put the link down here it's tmacdev.com slash form slash files slash files or file to remote play if you're alpha. I'll put this in the description. Just go here and download, and you'll have to make an account and it will download. And then just install it, and yeah, it'll be fine. Um, you can use controllers such as 360 or Xbox One, but um, PS4 controller is, I mean, what I use. Uh, most likely you, ha you have that, but if you can, uh, you like the 360 controller or the Xbox One controller, you can use this method to use it. Um, and then you can turn your TV to the PS4 itself, the input, and then you can use a different slash third-party controller on your PS4. But basically, um, we're just going to show you um, how to use this. So um, basically, you're going to want to open up your remote play free. It's just going to pop up like this, and it'll say I'm registered. This is just the free version. And I have my PS4 controller plugged in. Now, what's going to come up for you the first time is it's going to say register your PS4. It's going to ask for your like a uh, eight-digit code and your uh, username. So you're going to log into your PS4, go to settings, go to remote play settings, and then add device. You'll type in the four-digit number up here, and then the gamer tag you're trying to connect from below and hit register. Then I'll come up to this screen. And um, what you're going to do first is just hit, hit X on this. You're going to go to settings, display settings. And uh, if you have a crappy internet, you're going to want to turn this down, depending on how bad it is. Um, mine's wired, so I can do 720p, but I yeah, prefer to put about 30 frames, because it doesn't matter anyway, um, because games are only 30 frames anyway. But you can put it up to 60 if you'd like. Um, you can maintain that uh, aspect ratio. I'm going to uncheck this for this, but it really doesn't matter. I mean, change the resolution that your monitor is and what monitor you want it on, and uh, if you want it windowed, full screen, or borderless. So I'm just going to apply that. Now, basically, you're going to click PS4 Connect. Um, if I click Register, you can see this is the pin. Um, take your pin on online gamer tag, but we're not going to do that. We're going to connect to our PS4 and then search and connect after you register your account. And as you can see, I am using my PS4 controller and on my PC I am um, taking actual video on my uh, desktop on PS4 and I can do whatever I want. I can play my Black Ops 3 game or whatever else I want to do on my PS4. Also, you can use a program called OBS and you can record your actual home screen your PS4. If you don't have enough money for an out and you need to record your PS4 home screen, you can do it this way. Um, the settings before that I told you to go to would just be up here, settings, and you just go down to your connection, settings, add device. Um, and I'm using a remote play so I can show you, but um, you just have an 8 digit pin. Um, so I hope you um, enjoyed this video, so please rate, comment, like, subscribe. See you in my next video, guys. Peace out.